And here we are in the second week of summer this morning and food plays a very big part in this programme, which we love. <laughs> uh, we're now going to do a taste test. And, you know, listen, um, it, wherever you are in the world and you're gathered here, you know, so if you're from Brazil, if you're from Portugal, if you're from Poland, if you're from Ireland, whatever, if you're from Australia and you're in this country, you may miss certain things about home. Um, you know, look at me at home, I always miss the staples of Northern Ireland. The staple foods the staples you get, you know, your Northern potato Island. bread, your soda yeah. bread, you know, that sort of thing. Your nectar of the gods. Well, you're obsessed you're, with this. Uh, well, but this is the nicest orange juice in the whole world, made in Northern Ireland. So is it like Fanta orange? No. See, that's the reaction I get. <laughs> no. So this is club orange, so it's a fizzy orange. Real orange bits in that. It's got real orange bits, yeah. okay. If I'm ever sick, I need that. But I have to agree with you with Tato crisps. Yeah, I didn't know about Tato crisps till I met Eamon and went to Ireland and Tato crisps. However, I didn't realise there were two sorts. Yes, there is Northern Irish Tato crisps. <laughs> Ireland being Ireland is quite complicated. <laughs> and there's Southern Irish <laughs> Tato crisps as well. So these are the Southern Irish ones, which are beautifully lovely. And these are the Northern Irish ones, which... Could you taste the difference? Well, actually... I've just had the Northern Irish one. Mm -hmm. They're both lovely. Yeah. They're both lovely, but obviously I have, to be, I have to be loyal to the North. Um, but the reason we're talking about all of this is the Prime Minister, he's saying, you know, in a world after Brexit, um, there's got to be trade deals. And he wants a trade deal with Australia for one particularly important product called the Tim Tam, right? Yeah. It's a little biscuit. If you're Australian, you'll know exactly what we're talking about. So this is what Boris said about Tim Tams. Hi, folks. I'm absolutely thrilled today to be inaugurating the UK-Australia, Australia-UK free trade agreement talk. I want a world in which uh, we send you Marmite, you send us Vegemite, we send you penguins, and uh, you send us, uh, with reduced tariffs, these wonderful Arnott's Tim Tams. How long can the British people be deprived of the opportunity to uh, have uh, Arnott's Tim Tams at a reasonable price? And it makes sense. There's so many things from around the world that we just can't buy here. Why not? So... So, yeah, so Tim Tam. So that's the Australian Tim Tam, which is like our penguin. But they have made a British... What they consider a British version of the For Tim For the Tam. British palate. For the British honor. palate. So this is based on kind of scones, jam and cream. Sounds okay? good to so me, this is the, Now, there are only four packets of these exist. They've sent us a well, special packet. Well, there's going to be only three existing... In a minute. But listen, Claire Louise, no, wait, Claire Louise, hello, Claire Louise. She says, I love Tim Tams. Reminds me of when I was in Sydney. I love the caramel ones, nice. Listen to this. I used to bite off the opposite corners, dip them into tea, and suck the tea through the Tim Tam. And I know, Claire Louise, that that is called a Tim Tam slam. Well, okay? So you bite. It sounds very common that to me. corner. That corner. And then you do a quick dip, not too long, quick dip that corner, and then you suck it through that corner. That's most undignified. <laughs> it's very undignified. Could I please taste one? Mm. Oh, it's nice. Never mind all that. That and does jam, taste like scones, jam and cream. Oh, Jim yeah. Jam Tim Tam. <laughs> Apparently I've got to suck that like a and straw. That... Oh. That's really... Oh, stop, do, stop being such a pig. If I was doing that, I'm you'd just, be disgusted. It's just a thing called the Tim Tam Slam. I'm seeing if I can do well, it. It's a thing that's going to be in our shops more and more if this trade deal comes about. <laughs> so this got us thinking about foods you can only get um, abroad or from your home country, wherever it is. This and is my favourite. What's that? Fanta Limon. So, like, we had Fanta here, but when we used to go abroad, there was this thing called Fanta Limon. And it's like, they're not like lemonade. No, it was, it was like a lemony. It was just the just same different. as Fanta lemon, then. Well, I could say that's just the same as Fanta that's orange. That's not. Well, exactly, well, my not, point, not exactly. Remotely. So, nor is Fanta limon. Mm. We had to scour London for this Fanta well, limon, I'm telling you. What we're getting, like Ruthie and her yeah. holiday memories here, tell us what you love that you can only buy on holiday, and then we'll maybe take a look at those later on the show and we'll revive a few memories about that. OK, fair enough. Vicky says, I love Tim Tams, especially straight from the freezer. Yeah, they'd be nice from the freezer. Hey, I've off those bags. Hey? Tim Tams, put them under your... Oh, I'm sorry. 